Hi, Hini, how are you? It's Technicolor. I have another shell challenge speed build for you this time. And the shell challenge is unfortunately over, but there will be another one a little bit later on that you might be able to take part in. This is run by Kev the Builder and it's a food court shell. So let's check it out, shall we? So if you're unfamiliar with Kev the Builder, he is a fabulous Sims 4 builder and he does a lot of stuff on Twitch on YouTube. So you might wanna go follow him. I'll put his link down below. But he every Saturday runs the Great Simish Bake Off. And right now they're on season six and yours truly is competing as part of Team Tubular. And I am having the time of my life. So basically we get our Sim selves and we put them into the challenge if we are picked for this season. And I was picked and I was so excited because one of my friends is on Team Tubular with me, uh, Tiny Snub. You've probably heard me mention her in a couple of previous videos. I'm having the time of my life with this, with this competition. So if you're unfamiliar, it's very similar to the Great British Bake Off, but this is the Great Simish Bake Off. And you compete using your Sims. <laughs> And if you're familiar with Twitch, like I, I stream pretty much every single day over on Twitch, you accumulate channel points, which you can redeem for various things on different channels. And on Kev the Builder's channel right now, you are able to redeem those to get skill gain in baking or cooking by reading. You can have your Sim fix their needs. There's, there's like a whole bunch of things that you can do to help your Sim progress in the competition. And you can also hinder the competition, which is very fun. Somebody did it to me. <laughs> Last Saturday, somebody did it to me. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> they made my sim dazed. So then I didn't do very well in the, in the first round I heard. I was actually streaming last Saturday. I changed my schedule this week because I'm so into it. So this time I'm gonna be streaming on Sunday. So you're not gonna be missing my streams on Saturday because you can actually watch The Great Simish Bake Off, which I, I'm having so much fun watching this, but Kev the Builder had released a shell challenge and had said with this room based shell challenge for like a food court stall, the whoever the winners are by like random draw will win kind of like a, a prize. And that prize is to do something in Bake Off. So for instance, since I am competing in Bake Off, my baking and my cooking was increased by one point. So I'm feeling really good because <laughs> I don't think I was doing so well in the competition. I really hope that even if I don't win Bake Off, I really hope that somebody on my team, Team Tubular wins. You might wanna watch on Saturday and see who is on my team. And I don't know, maybe you could help us out. So for the food court stall shell, you were able to make any kind of food court stall that you wanted. And I decided, to make Cinnabon. You might've heard me mention my boyfriend in the past, Cinnabon Andy. He loves Cinnabon. I've liked Cinnabon, like basically my whole life. If I went to the food court and we were gonna get lunch or whatever with my family, it was either Chinese food that I was gonna get or I was going to get the Cinnabon. And I loved Cinnabon. Cinnabon is so good. My boyfriend, Cinnabon Andy, he loves Cinnabon. And lore has it that apparently when he was younger, if he ended up in the mall with his family and they did not get Cinnabon, ooh, it was a meltdown. They could not leave the mall until he got his Cinnabon. <laughs> and he's, he's a big fan. He's a big fan of Cinnabon. So I decided I was gonna make a Cinnabon themed or cinnamon roll themed, if you're unfamiliar with Cinnabon, a food court, because that's where I would have stopped if I was going to the food court. Because the whole theme for this season of Bake Off is that it is 80s themed and it's taking place in a mall. And it's it's honestly like the coolest thing. Huge props to Kev the Builder and his entire team of moderators and everyone who was involved in this season and every previous season, because it is honestly like the most fun that I've had on Twitch in a really long time. <laughs> It's just so funny to like see the Sims like trying to trying to compete because as you know, sometimes like Sims, if there's a lot of Sims on a lot, they may uh, they may take their time trying to figure out how to do easy tasks like 
baking cookies. <laughs> Sometimes they'll do it. Sometimes they won't. Now imagine if you've increased the amount of uh, Sims that are on a lot and uh, you have the great Simish Bake Off. <laughs> so it's always a lot of fun. I really, I really hope that you, you'll stop by, you'll check it out. But I had the time of my life building this. I was not really sure where I really wanted the, the counter. I was actually looking at some of the submissions because some people had submitted theirs already. And I was like, I don't know where to put it. Originally, I was gonna put it in the front, but I felt like no matter what I did, it didn't feel right there. So I ended up putting mine kind of just like rotated and off to the side, which a lot of people ended up doing. I also got some cinema themed gallery art and I'll, I'll link the creator down below. I also had a lot of fun building this because I was like, I should probably have some tables. Then I was like, I don't know where to put these tables because there was a lot, a lot of space getting used up by everything else. And I'm, I'm, when it comes to building in The Sims, I'm like, I need The Sims, I need it to be functional. So I, I tried to make it as functional as I could. I don't know, I didn't actually test, but based on my experience of The Sims, I think it would be functional, I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna put this in a mall. I don't know. <laughs> if you wanna play with this, who knows? But I I took a lot of inspiration from the actual Cinnabon stores. I thought it was really, really cute because they use a lot of like wood grain. They use a lot of wood. They use a lot of like that teal, that blue color for their branding. And I don't know. I just had the time of my life going in, trying to find items that would like fit that branding, but in The Sims. And I, I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. I knew that I wanted to add a, a sort of trash and like recycling area. I thought that that would be really important because I feel like sometimes a lot of food service workers end up having to clean up after people. And in the wise words of my favorite drag queen, Coco Peru, Miss Coco Peru, go follow her. That bothers me. I don't like when people don't clean up after themselves. So I decided that needed to be included, of course. We added the little sign out front. We added the menu. It's really hard to find menus in game that will kind of fit like the branding of specific restaurants or food service places like Cinnabon. Um, but I thought I did a pretty good job. It's also really hard because I feel like a lot of the ones we have in the game are like specific to a bar or specific to a cafe and Cinnabon's not really a cafe you can get coffee there iced coffees but like really it's the cinnabon so to have it themed off of like a specific type of food or baked good it's it's really it's really hard to find ones that fit really well but there's so many people who are talented <laughs> in The Sims 4. For instance, one of my friends, Pacific Creative, she had done this shell as well. And I had seen when Kev the Builder had toured the shells that she had built like a fountain drink area for her food court stall. It was amazing. <laughs> I was blown away. I'm like, you made like the little like labels. Oh my God, it, it was just fantastic. Like the, the thought that people have and come up with with this, Oh my God, blows my mind. I feel like I'm just like putting things down and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm playing the game. I'm just putting this over here. Maybe I'll tool things in place, who knows? But no, some people just are incredibly creative and I hope to get on that. I hope to, <laughs> I hope to get to that level at some point. I, I will say I have had a ton of fun playing around with tool and trying to uh, try, try new things and figuring things out. I'm, I'm very excited about it. So I don't know, I think, I think I'm becoming a better builder. I think I'm becoming a better builder. I also can't wait to tell y'all, if you have been following my, my Twitch channel every Tuesday and Thursday morning, I stream The Sims 4, not always building, but we're, we're gonna start building tomorrow on Thursday morning, at least on the East Coast at 10 a.m. I start, but we we are, we're gonna be building a McMansion kind of thing for my Sim, Jet Windham, in my Legacy Challenge. Because in my challenge, Around the World's Legacy, we have finally 
come to the Get Famous generation, which he's going to be a celebrity. I'm going to make him an actor. And we, uh, we gotta be famous. We gotta be famous. So we gotta live in Del Sol Valley. We're gonna live in the hills. And I don't know which lot to pick. I don't know how to design it. I was originally thinking maybe I'll do something kind of similar to the OC. Maybe I'll make the Cohen house. Now I think I might want to do it a little bit more modern, which is the way I was going to go originally. So I don't, I don't know what I should do. What would you do? What would you do for like a mansion? Would you do something like really nice and modern? Would you do something a little bit more contemporary, more traditional now? What would you do? What would you do? <laughs> You would think that I am like super energized. I've had a coffee. I had a nice coffee this morning, but I just finished stream and I, <laughs> I was exhausted basically the entire stream. <laughs> and now all of a sudden I'm like all full of energy. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's basically what we're going to be doing. But anyway, if you want to know a little bit more about the Great Simish Bake Off, it is taking place in Lakeview Mall in San Sequoia. <laughs> and there's a tent outside that we all bake in. It's so, it's, I don't know, I think it's the cutest. But let me just read the objective here for you, if you don't mind. 21 fresh-faced Sim contestants one of them is me, are whisked away to live in a blast from the past mall and compete in this retro style season of the Great Simish Bake Off. Under the harsh fluorescent lighting, contestants will compete in weekly baking slash cooking challenges and one by one, the contestants will be eliminated. After nine grueling weeks of fierce competition, a winner will be crowned. This season's theme is like totally 80s. <laughs> And each week will consist of a themed team challenge, followed by two technical and two showstopper challenges that each contestant will complete on their own. Challenges will begin at 10 a.m. Sims game time. During an elimination week, Sims will be sent home from the competition after the elimination bake. This season's eliminations will be determined by a points system based on baking completion and quality level of the bake. And... Kev the Builder streams this every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And it is it is so much fun. So this Saturday is actually going to be week three, Pi Week, and it's elimination week. There have been no eliminations up to this point. And I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I am on Team Tubular. And the other teams are Team Valley Girl and Team Mall Rats. But Team Tubular is going to win. Team Tubula is going to win. <laughs> That's what I've decided. I want to win. And if I'm not winning, somebody on my team has got to win. But it is so much fun. I really do hope that you stop by, you check it out. The previous weeks that we have competed in, there was like an orientation week, which was really fun. <laughs> But we also had the basic bakes, which we made pre-mixed brownies. We made Yorkshire pudding. We also had a slip and slide moment. And then actually last week <laughs> was cookie week. And I was streaming during this and I was missing all the action. And I was so sad. <laughs> and it was cookie week. Oh my God. So the team challenge was sugar cookies. And then we did oatmeal cookies and we did peanut butter cookies. Now all I want is cookies. <laughs> I'm actually cooking lunch right now and I can't wait to eat. I am starving. I'm starving. It is currently 2.40 p.m. here. I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> but anyway, next week is going to be, there's going to be a team challenge of darts. Don't expect to do well there. And then the technical bake will be fruit pie where two will be eliminated. And the showstopper bake with sweet potato pie, I don't like sweet potato, and two will be eliminated. I don't like sweet potato, so I'm hoping I can stay in the competition. I'm hoping I can stay in the competition. There's not much to show off here in terms of the actual build. It is on the gallery if you would like to see it, but other than that, I think that's all I have. If you liked this video and you would like to see more content like this, I would really appreciate you liking and subscribing. It's free. Hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, but we'll have a new build up next Wednesday. And again, I stream on Twitch pretty much every single day. And of course, of course we have the Great Simish Bake Off on Saturday. So be there or be square. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.